Hello, morning. I know I said in January that it was my last art haul for a while, but I'm just videoing these because these were my birthday gifts. Some of them anyway, others have not arrived, but these are some of the gifts that I got from David, my fiance for my birthday, which was at the start of February. So, ooh, I'm so excited. So this book I'd actually told him about for Christmas. I didn't get it for Christmas and I was like, oh, okay, never mind. And he'd actually bought it and then put it aside for my birthday. So that was really cool. So it's the little book of book bang, book making. And I'll insert some video now of one of the projects that I did in here for my niece it was a secret message book and you create your piece of art and you cut it up and then you make an accordion style book I actually folded it before realizing I didn't read the instructions it's something I do all the time I forget to read the instructions because I think I know best and then I discovered actually well no that's not how you do it but anyway my niece loves it so that's fine then so this is timeless techniques and fresh ideas for beautiful handmade books and it's got lots of inspiration in it from like other people people's books that they've made it's a really beautiful book and then towards the back there are like book making in practice so it has like a range of different techniques things that you need that kind of thing so i'm really excited about this i think i'm going to get lots of use out of it um obviously in order to make book covers books per se i needed glue so he got me a glue he knows that i prefer like natural ones apparently pva is toxic he got me this with a book i don't even know what you'd call this like a bone folder um and i did use this for Scythe's book that i made her and it is like some kind of bonus not plastic and then there was also this gadget which it says it's five tools in one so you can do all these things with it and i follow someone on instagram who's always making these gorgeous little books and i was like whoa so that's handy i don't know how to use it yet but because the cover for sophie's i just made it from cardboard i didn't cover it but then i also have 10 a4 dna4 pieces of book binding paper it says 20 but i think there's only 10 maybe there is 20 okay cool it's from germany hopefully it's okay so those are my book making supplies i'm sure you can imagine how excited i am for those and then two of the books he got me were he was really excited about this one the country diary of an edwardian lady and it is really sweet but the lady who wrote it edith holden she actually like the area is around where he was born and grew up so that's why he was so excited. And it's got these beautiful, well, first of all, it's got these really sweet illustrations. It's a year that she went out and about and she kept like a visual diary, but she also wrote things down. And it's really sweet to just flick through and look. Some of them are like poems. I'm not really into poetry, but some of them are poems. Some of them are descriptions. And I think it's just, it's really charming. And he was so chuffed to give it to me. He's like, He's so excited because he's very, um, he's very sweet like that. Like he's very, he loves his hometown and his home environment, like his part of the world. Uh, it's really sweet to see. So he's really chuffed that I love this. That is the country diary of an Edwardian lady. I think there might be blurb on the back. Charming portrait, the English countryside, the facsimile edition of Edith Holden's original 1906 diary, filled with exquisite watercolour paintings and delightful observations of changing seasons. So it's quite heavy actually. And then another book he got me. David is a assistant professor in literature and he loves books of all kinds so I often end up getting quite a few books from him for various things. This is Art Forms in Nature and he it's funny because when he was trying to give me hints he kept saying it's like oh it's stuff that you're really into in the moment but you might not be in six months. It's like what are you talking about man? What could that be? He's trying to put me off the scent and it's these like incredible incredible drawings look at these i shan't show you all because you know copyright stuff they are done like he was just this guy ernst teckel was it him ernst teckel yeah heckels 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 i don't know how to say that i shipped because i did german at school and dutch has similar pronunciation for some stuff but aren't they just magnificent and i'm so excited to flick through i don't like the black ones as much just because like they're very graphic rather than when they're in the colors they're just so much more beautiful so yeah i got this one for my birthday from david as well look at that so cool there you go we have a birthday package what do you think's in there should i open it now i'm actually halfway through doing something so i should probably hold off but i'm sure you want to see it what's that oh <gasps> that you've already seen this was in a video that went live a couple of days ago look oh, mm. i can't do this one-handed this is birthday stuff from david who's my fiance's parents oh my gosh look at all these things whoa what's that Curious, I wonder what it is. Hmm. 
but I'll get these out and then I'll show them to you. So this is actually the next day because life. So we've got here the things that were inside the package. The first thing is this peg and all pouch. Now I've had this scribbler pouch on my Jackson's favourites list for a while, even though it is something I could easily make myself. And actually I'm a little bit disappointed with it, but I will cover that in another video. I thought at least I'd be able to get my hand inside. It's not lined. It's finished quite poorly. And maybe it's just because I have high standards being someone who can man manufacture things myself. The idea for this was to actually put my pencils in. Let me grab a handful. But I'm not sure that that's what I want to do now because of the, I don't know. I'm just not vibing with that. Ah, so we'll see. I mean, it's a gorgeous little pouch, but Maybe it's because of the choice of zipper. Maybe it's because I feel like there should be more depth to it so the zipper sits nicer. Like you can see the edge of the zipper is, it's just not nicely finished. Like they could have trimmed this back neatly. They could have stitched it in place. So it wasn't like prominent, but this is me being really picky because you know, I make things for a living. Then we also have something from Daniel Smith. Even though I said I wasn't gonna buy any more watercolors, this is the satin red schminky so actually it wasn't daniel smith <laughs> sorry i tricked you there natasha newton whose patreon i recently joined she had put this in a palette and it was the most gorgeous color even though it's too late for me to put it into my peg and all palette this is the tilde but i'm ha i'm fine with that oh they are really drying down now i'm completely fine with that this means that i have another reason to create a new palette at some point in the future but let me show you the color what i'll do is i'll actually swatch them out but look at that isn't that just a beautiful red very 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 beautiful that's that and then i also got a couple of gouaches now this is money from my in-laws to be that they gave me for my birthday they gave me money to use for our products and i was like okay thank you so we also have some gouache because i've been loving gouache i have never used this before this is shinhan professional designers gouache in dark green the reason i got these colors is again well i don't have a raw ember i have a burnt ember and i have a burnt sienna but i don't have raw ember gouache and i know it's quite nice but the ash blue this is the whole bind and the dark green these are two others that natasha newton recommends as being really lovely Ooh, pretty and dark green shinhan so i've heard of shinhan but i've never used their products oh <gasps> look at that green Ooh. so i'll swatch those out in a moment for you i think i'll swatch them out in a moment for you <laughs> i don't know yet and then I'll get rid of that this big thing so that's why it came in a big box i should have realized this is a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be and again this has been in my jackson's folder folder basket for a while but because this jet february is my month of acrylics i was like oh i'll get one of these and then i was like i was actually looking at say wet palette because a youtube buddy kilby recommended i get one but I was like, it makes sense, but surely I can like create something similar. And so I got this Mugello airtight structure. You see, it is for acrylic to oils and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's made in Korea. Is it my Jello Mugello? I thought it was going to be smaller than this. This is huge. Let me just open it. And I apologise for the dark light. Um, I don't have space in my sewing room studio space. It's like two metres by 1.5 metres. I don't have space for like actual lights set up. So unfortunately we have to make do with the daylight and it's a very rainy day in February. Oh my gosh. Oh. So I think it probably is really airtight. I think it was like £16. It's a hard plastic. Obviously, if you've got wet paints in, it's not one for taking out and about because if you've got wet paints in, they are going to smish around. There's nothing to stop them from coming up. Like if I was putting this aside in my bag like I would a laptop, it's just going to go everywhere. But I did like the idea of, when I was looking at the other palettes, they're nice plasticky ones that have got like a lilac cover. And I was like, oh, that looks really nice. I think I've seen Sarah Van Dongen use one with her gouache. And I was like, this could work for acrylic or gouache. Like for acrylic, I could put like one of those foam inserts with the paper on top to keep my acrylics moist or I can use the wells for my gouache and let them dry out and then have a big gouache palette that's my thinking so we'll see I'm not going to do anything with it now because that could be a video in itself once I decide what I'm going to do with it what I'm going to say is it's really big like in terms of measurement let me use my trusty gauge that is like 
nearly 35 centimeters long and about 24 centimeters wide so it's bigger than an a4 piece of paper way bigger than i thought it's actually weightier than i thought as well so that my friends is my little birthday stash that arrived yesterday i don't think i've got anything else oh i do have something to show you that i bought while i was up at the art shop on my actual birthday which was on saturday so let me get those and show those to you so these were a birthday present to myself basically i have this absolutely i love this sketchbook this is my august 2023 to february 2024 sketchbook it's a talons art creation cork cover and on the inside we have white paper i'm going to do a flip through this sketchbook in a couple of weeks when it's finished fully finished but i love that sketchbook it's my favorite it's very weighty in its a4 format so don't take it out and about very often but i absolutely love it it's really hard to find i don't know if talons do them everywhere i love them so what happened was i went to the art shop on my birthday and they had the small ones so i, I got the a4 i got a new one as you can see stickers still on it but i also got two of the a5 i don't even know if they're a5 they're 13 centimeters by 21 centimeters which is 5.1 by 8.3 inches and i love 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 the size like look how you can hold it in your hand and it's just like it's less than half the size of the a4 oh i love it so much so i'm going to show you so you can see why i love it so much um somebody had asked someone who watched my video on acrylics i think they asked me which shop i was going to because i said i was going to try and go get some on my birthday and i saw the message on the day but i actually left it a few days to reply because i wanted to make sure that nobody got them because it's a bit selfish of me so this is gouache and pencil this is tombow base and pencil on top and you can see like it hasn't come through with the tombow markers and the black the, the dark was quite heavy i was heavy handed with that and then this is the gouache you can't really see because i did my palette on the back my um this is for my tilde palette filling uh color swatching and filling so if you haven't seen that i'll link that up above but you can see from the i think i've got an acrylic -y one in here so it's got acrylic playing as well and it handles like this is the acrylic page now granted this this section was watery this one mm, actually these acrylics were watered down a bit and it handled it fine i don't have anything that is just watercolor this is gouache yeah that was gouache so i do need to test it out with the watercolors although this is technically watercolor it's fine like it didn't peel can you see it does absorb the water quickly but this is the perfect book for going out and about with my watercolor palette a watercolor palette and just getting quick sketches down i'm so excited i managed to get two of them i'm gonna go back on the weekend and see if they've got any more in stock and buy a couple more just to make sure they're really hard to get and i love them so much <laughs> So those were also a birthday present to myself. And then because this is my month of acrylics, I've been watching a lot of, tu not necessarily tutorials, but information on using acrylics and specifically mixing acrylics. Now I've, you've already seen, if you saw my acrylic, uh, month of acrylic painting setup, like the beginning of February, I did a video telling you all about it. And then this may or may not come out before or after my review of how February went because we're only like seven days in eight days in now actually but these are the colors that I have I've got like Quinn red gold India yellow Payne's gray yellow ochre Indian red oh, oh Naples yellow red India Napville crimson India red oxide cobalt tackle French ultramarine so I'm quite limited on colors and they're not necessarily the best ones for mixing obviously the Napville crimson French ultramarine and yellow ochre I keep losing my yellow ochre these three are like your basic mixing colors but when i was looking at this amazing color mixing video he was like oh this this and this so i got this is just the gallery which i think is like student grade isn't it from winsor newton permanent rose which actually retrospectively is quite similar to quinn quinn red that's it there and then did i swatch these out i think i swatched them out in my big one hang on okay found it so this was the day after i bought them so this is quinn red French ultramarine queen red oh over here sorry I'm being a plonk you can see here what those colors look like we've got the permanent rose from Windsor Newton Galleria Amsterdam standard Naples yellow deep Amsterdam standard warm grey Amsterdam expert raw umber Amsterdam expert burnt sienna Amsterdam standard olive green deep and I did some color mixing as well but I'm going to show you those in my roundup of how the critic month went so this is the olive green deep number 622 it's like a lovely gorgeous olivey green color and I didn't actually have any greens which so this is the Naples yellow donker deep 
look at that oh beautiful color then we have this is burnt sienna i didn't have a burnt sienna in acrylic and it's good for mixing look at that oh so beautiful then we have raw ember because i did have burnt do i have a burnt umber I'm thinking of something else actually i'm thinking of the gouache look at that it's like a greeny brownie beautiful yummy and then i wanted parchment because i've seen sandy hester use parchment and katie moody use parchment i think it's katie moody and they didn't have it so i ended up getting warm gray but now thinking about it i'm wondering if the parchment is actually the more expensive brand um like liquitex or golden so maybe i'll have a look on saturday so i got warm gray but this is also a really beautiful color look oh you see it so I'm really excited about those. And those were present to myself, even though I wasn't gonna buy anything more unnecessarily, but it is acrylic mint and I figure, well, I can water them down. I could show you, can I show you my acrylic book quickly? I'll show you one thing. This is my acrylic book that I've been working on. Okay, two pages from the fifth. So this is them watered, this one was dry brushed neat and this was like watered down. And I was just trying to get some like directional lines from the paint alone. I'm gonna work over them with pencil. Probably I'll do it as a video actually for YouTube, I'm not sure yet. And I messed up this because then I got hyper-focused on like using a dry brush and like puffy puffy instead of lines. Silly, messed that up. But anyway, so it's likely that I will use them again and again anyway outside of acrylic month because I'm exploring, I'm enjoying exploring with them. That is my birthday art haul complete. I may upload this as is if it's quite lengthy. I'm really happy with my supplies at the moment. So I filmed the main part of this video when my birthday supplies were given to me and I just wanted to, sorry I'm trying to unpack this. <laughs> It's really hard. So I have posted a video already on filling this Magello palette with gouache and I just wanted to show you that it's doing well. Um, I have been using it and I've been enjoying having access. I've had lots of great tips on what to do with these and I need to go and buy some clove oil. So this has been great for using at my desk. I'm not that I've had much time to use it. And then the other thing that I showed you at the beginning-ish, maybe midway through the video, is the Paganol sand up case thing. I, at the time, was worried that I wouldn't be able to fit much in it because it was so thin, but I'm going to show you. I've been using it on a daily basis and this is what I have in it. So I've got, well, let me take them out and show you. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven um, Tombos. Two of these Faber Castells, so we'll be up to 13. Oh, hang on, there's another Faber Castell. 14. I've got two Eco Lines in here, my favourites. 15, 16. Is that right? 15, 16. And then the rest are all acrylic markers. As you can see, I can get so many in here. I've got two thick, chunky Poscas. Uh, these ones, this one particularly, the beige i love using when i don't want to use the water one i go for this one uh this is the gray i've been liking that and then i've also got this pale gray from Molito. and then we oh we also have this is a water brush pen sorry the light indigo then i have my lobster Molito, my amazonas green amazonas light Molito. these are all different nib lengths this white posca i've been using loads and then a coral pink posca as well so that's like four five six seven acrylic markers and one 17 water markers that's 24 pens in this case i did not think it was possible when i first got it and i've been loving it because it means that if i'm heading upstairs and these are just staying in here permanently at the moment I, if i go upstairs and i want to do some like layers with stuff before i use my pencils i can if i go out and about i just slide it into my bag and considering it's a tiny little pack i didn't think i'd get much in it when i opened it but you just saw what came out and just to show you they're all in there um and i can still get it zipped just about i normally find that i have to have the tombos along one edge and then the shorter ones to the other side probably need to take one out because it is a little bit tight at the moment but yeah that's got 24 marker pen type things inside that is my birthday art haul supplies thanks so much for watching i will see you my next video will be on monday take care bye Ooh, yeah, there. Let's put a... <laughs>